describing where we're headed as a church. It's our way of looking at what the steps are. Unbeatable leadership with Jeff Struger. I think the phrase quality time is a cop out. I really think that most of the time somebody has this pull between work and family. I know I should give work 100% of my attention. My family needs 100% of my attention and they both need it at the same time. And obviously, I can't be in two places at the same time. So they deceive themselves. They deceive themselves by telling themselves, I'm giving quantity time, I know nobody uses that phrase, but I'm giving the quantity a lot of my time to work, but I'm gonna give a little bit of my time to my family. I'm just gonna make it quality time. I'm gonna give a little good time to my family and a lot of regular time to my work. Well, here's my problem with that. Your boss wants to know that they're getting the best from you. Your family wants to know that they're getting the best from you. And I think the phrase quality time, the way most people use that phrase to themselves, not necessarily in a conversation to other people, I think the way most people use that phrase to themselves is a cop-out. It's their way of making a mental gymnastics and a little mental exercise to let them know, I know I'm probably spending too much time at work and not enough time at home, but I really want that big pay raise. I really want that big promotion. So the way that they rationalize it is, I'm giving a lot of my time to work, but I'm gonna give quality time to home. So here's my suggestion. Why don't you eliminate this phrase from your vocabulary? And when you're at work, and I understand that you have to work long hours. Most people do. I work long hours. When you're at work, even if it's long hours, give it everything that you've got. Don't hold anything back. And when you're at home, give that everything that you've got. Don't hold anything back. And you may not like what I'm going to say next, which means when you get home, you might need to turn your cell phone all the way off. You might need to close that laptop and put it in another room so that your family really does have your full attention. Meaning, when you're at work, be fully present and fully focused at work. And when you're at home, be fully present and fully focused at home. And sure, work is gonna want more time from you than you're able to give. Of course, your family is gonna want more time from you than you're able to give. But in the end, both of them will probably respect. They're only one person. They can only be in one place at one time. And they're giving me everything that they've got while they're with me. So I guess I really can't complain. So once again, quality time is a cop-out for most people. Maybe you should eliminate that phrase from your vocabulary and just be fully present and fully focused wherever you're at, at work or at home. Just a little leadership insight for you, for anybody who's filling the tug between work and home when it comes to your schedule. God bless.